Hey everyone, it's Maury Curtis Dunbar here with Painted Studios and it's Thursday and we're back. I did so many lives on Tuesday, I had to take a little break from doing lives yesterday, but now we're back and we're working on new fun, pro uh, fun projects. Yay! Okay, so we are live, but I am open for business, so as always, we could have somebody come through the door. Usually it's a delivery while I'm doing lives. It's inevitable I get a delivery. But occasionally we have a customer in here while I'm doing a live, and uh, I always have a sign posted on the door that I'm doing live, so sometimes they're afraid to come in. <laughs> anyway, um, I want to thank everybody for your constant support. Hey, Bobby, nice to see you here. Um, and I'm really excited about where things are going. We are coming up on the renewal for the third year of our lease coming in the fall, even though we didn't open for another six months after that. But it's really exciting for us. I mean, we're, we're in our second year here at this studio. I'm loving it. We're doing new and creative things. So I want to thank you all. The other thing I'm going to ask you is to remember to use that little arrow button and sprinkle the love around. Um, we're, Facebook doesn't like the other word that is for distributing, so please distribute because we're going to do a contest that includes that soon. Today, what we're working on is our new vinyl adhesive and using it with foils and an iron um, on t-shirts. Now, give me just a second because I got everything prepped, but of course I forgot to plug in my iron. Let me do that and hope that we manage not to blow a breaker because um, we have a lot of air conditioning on right now. It's, you know, a million degrees out and cooling and heating devices pull a lot of power. Oh, come on, go in. My irons, my uh, plugs are being stubborn today. There we go. All right, so I have my iron on here. I'm going to set it on. Uh, let's see. We're going to try synthetics first. So when we did this the other day, the first time, I was using, and I blew my breaker. Hang on, everybody. I'll be right back. I was afraid that was going to happen. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm going to turn this off. This way I can now turn on the iron without <laughs> blowing the breaker. Hey, Maddie. All right, so I'm setting my iron. We're to start setting it with silk. I mean, uh, with synthetic. I apologize for that. Never a dull day around here. Okay, so when we did it with my big trouser press two days ago, um, what happened was that I wasn't getting as even um, a heat. I wasn't as control as to where the heat was going. And when I first learned to do this, I was told to do it on a synthetic setting. Well, the pants press runs a little differently, so I had to run it at a higher temp. So when you're using either a t-shirt press or a trouser press or even your iron, always make sure to check the temperature to make sure your adhesive will bond properly. And this will make more sense as we go on later, I'll reinforce it. So we're gonna scroll down here now. And these products are designed, this, this is the film, sorry. It has a shiny side and a matte side. So the matte side up is what goes through either your Cricut Maker or your Silhouette to cut something out. I've already cut on here, you can't see it. It won't really show. You can see maybe a hint of a white line here. I cut out and weeded out all the other ones, but I'm gonna show you on the simplest one I have how to do this. Now, the other thing I got told, and it really is true, is these little LED party lights. 
um, make it really easy. I always say do this on a dark surface because you'll see your cut lines better because they're very hard to see without that. And then these little LED lights. Now let me see if I can zoom this in so you can see this better. All right, these little LED lights, I can hold them along here and they illuminate the fine line that's cut so I can actually cut my design. And I can either hold it or I can um, stick it on my finger because it has a little, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to stick that right in the camera, that was rude but it has these little elastics. And so when you buy this film from me, you get one of these little LED lights. It'll help you cut. Now I could weed this out so that this little design here would um, be in a negative, but I want my pattern that I designed. So I'm gonna take my picker and now I'm just tearing at this upper film. And what this upper film is, it's adhesive. So first you gotta start peeling it. And this clear part will still be tacky. It's supposed to be. So I'm just peeling this off. Now I'm gonna show you the other designs I picked out. <laughs> Because this is, this is truly the easiest one. I left it simple and easy so that I could do this during the live and you wouldn't have to sit and watch me pluck out a million little tiny dots because I did that with another, the other designs. All right, pull this stuff. This is all adhesive. So I'm very, generally try to be careful how I place things on here. This was actually placed on a piece of film that I had used for something else so I didn't waste any more. And these are the other designs that I cut. I'm going to be posting these online. These will be available for you. This is our little mermaid. Let me come back out. Okay, this is our little mermaid, which I think is just darling. Now, I will tell you, this took me a good hour to weed because it's got lots and lots of little tiny details. But when you order them from us, and I this the designs have not yet been put on the site, just the film. I have not mounted these designs. I put a, installed these sites on our the site. Blah, 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 blah. Well, me and speaking English good today. Um, I haven't put this pattern up on the website yet because today I want to test it and transfer it and see how well it goes. And I, like I said, it is very time and labor intensive to weed a design this tightly detailed, but it is super cute. I did also our butterfly, which I love. And then to go with the paintbrush, I did painted studio. Now you can read this clearly because it's done in reverse. Because when I, you have to, when you have anything that's lettered, you actually have to flip the lettering. So when you're looking at it, it reads wrong because you have to put it down in reverse on your t-shirt so it reads the correct way. When I did this the other day, it read perfectly to everybody because I didn't mirror it for what we were using it for. Because <laughs> I wasn't very bright. So I wrote summer on, I, came up with a design, said summer, pulled it out, and I forgot to mirror it. So it came out reading mirrored. Reading, like the only way for me to read the word sunshine was to read it in a mirror. All right, so we're gonna start out with, hmm, let's start with our, a black t-shirt. Oops. And these are just old t-shirts that I had at home. I keep a ton of t-shirts. I'm sure everybody who paints does. Um, for all I know, that there's actually paint on them. I pulled these literally out of the drawer. Well, I know there's dog fur on them. That's a given. All right, so I'm just gonna take my old Gap T-shirt that I've had for a million years. I'm gonna smooth it out, and then I'm gonna determine where I wanna put the painted studio. Now, I could put it like this. I could center it, I think, today for simple ease of use after I feel under here to make sure that it's smooth. 
because I don't want to press anything weird. And I am, you know, God did not make me to be the greatest ironer in the world. So um, sometimes things don't always sit the way I want them to. So I'm going to take a second to see if I can center it. See, if I center painted, then everything goes aside. So I have to think about centering it approximately and just sort of look at the size of the pattern versus the size of my collar and see if I can get it kind of centered. There we go. That's as close as it's going to get, folks. Okay, so now my I you can see this frosty part. This is the adhesive. So now you take your iron, make sure it's warm, um, and you should also do what I didn't do, which is check to make sure that any cruddy stuff is on the bottom of the iron is off. So let me see if that'll come. Actually, that melted so hot that I need a higher iron temperature to get that. So we're going to hold the synthetic iron on this, uh, the iron set to synthetic on this, and see how it's starting to melt the adhesive. I might need to move my temperature up. I don't know for sure. So we got to hold it, hold it for, you know, eight to 10 seconds, see if this clears. Because again, every iron is different. So you might need to bump it up to silk. I might need to bump it up to silk. Um, and if anybody's wondering, yes, indeed, this is the famous iron that went to college with my son and was never unwrapped. All right, I'm gonna move this up to silk because I don't think it's getting quite hot enough. So the, the, more, the, the more this heats up, the more translucent then that the lettering or whatever your pattern design will be, will become because that means that it's melting to the shirt surface. Don't set it higher than silk though because you'll actually <laughs> melt this transfer plastic and that will be a bad thing. It'll be a permanent part of your um, clothing or your iron, quite frankly. So I'm just gonna set this on here and let this get good and clear. Um, my iron's a little stubborn. It doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna quite get as hot as I think it needs to get. Like I said, again, new, old, uh, different irons work differently. When I did this with my pant presser, yeah, it melted a little faster. So I just gotta hold this here until it gets good and transparent. And then I can pull this back and see if it's transferring, which it's not right here. And mind you, I'm, I'm roasting. I'm so warm right now doing this. Sorry, that's my dress. Nothing scary, just flopped out. <laughs> Let's see. I am not liking my heat on this, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep working this until it gets hot enough to transfer, and it is my iron. It's not the transfer, because I got such great transfer with this using the pant press, but I just wanted to try it with my iron today. Uh, I'm gonna let that iron heat up a little bit, and I'm gonna clear some of the crud off of it too, so just give me a sec. This is a newer iron and I got it so hot I actually melted foil to the iron. I didn't know I could do that because I'd never been able to get my iron that hot before. <laughs> all right, so again, you can see this is, ex you have to check all this stuff and work your own iron to make it work. Uh, I can't guarantee you what's going to work for you for any more than I know half the time how this is going to work for me because it's a lot of uh, testing your equipment. Oh, good. Now it's finally starting to turn good and clear. Okay, so on this iron, it wants wool. But truly, you just don't know. And all those little flakes, that's the um, <laughs> old foil that I burned to the bottom of this iron. You get me all here with my own messes. I don't hide 
<laughs> I don't hide for perfection here. You know, I don't hide who I am. You know that I am the mess maker extraordinaire. I, I own it. Okay, so I'm gonna try to put my glasses down. So it's 90 degrees. I'm setting up, sitting over a wool air uh, iron and I do not have the air conditioner on. I must be losing my mind. Okay, so now I'm rolling it back slowly and carefully. Oh, perfect. It transferred just right. And you see there's nothing left on my film. And I'm going to take my little paintbrush and just stick it right under there. Or I could have left that behind and could just simply um, use another foil over it after I transfer, but I want all of this peeled off because I want to get away from this darn iron. <laughs> So that's working well. The wool is, the wool for on this iron's working well, but truly, no joke, slowly, carefully test your heat because you can go too hot and you can ruin your projects. You can melt this film. So look how cute that is. Ugh, I'm roasting right now. All right, so I think we're gonna use our Galaxy glitter foil on here. I love this. I think this is so fun. So I think it'll look fun. And this is again, a fabric foil. You don't want to use a non-fabric foil for this. Um, you won't get the results you want and it won't hold up. And as always, when you wash these, don't put them in the dryer. You won't like that. Okay, let's, all right. So now I'm going to put my foil on. I'm going to press it. And again, you just need to keep them moving a little bit, a little bit of pressure. Um, this is, honest to God, my new favorite thing because once this cools properly and you've done all your, okay, just checking to make sure it's sticking on here. And you do have to put a little pressure and a little heat because that's what foils like. And I'm just moving it around making sure I got everything pressed on. And then you have to throw it over to let it cool. Do not pull this off while it's hot. You won't be happy. It won't give you the result. Now, once it's started to bond, you should be able to see it grabbing where you have your stencil, or I'm sorry, where you have your transfer. And I do see it. It's sticking. This just takes a second or two. Hi, Robbie, again, thank you. And hi, El Elizabeth, nice to see you here. Elizabeth has a cute store. She um, paints all kinds of wonderful things, but she also has a great boutique um, called, I, and Elizabeth, if I'm wrong, tell me and post the name, but it's uh, a Yellow and Company, or Yellow and Sunshine and Company. Don't ask me why I can't remember any the names of anything. It is a huge personality flaw of mine. Okay, so I'm gonna set that off to the side and let it cool. Um, I'm, right now what this is on is a piece of polystyrene, and understand is I'm heating it, I'm also making this polystyrene warp. So this is probably not the best surface, but I don't care. <laughs> we're gonna be honest, I don't care. All right, so we're gonna take a white t-shirt. And let's see. I think we'll do the mermaid on this one, because I think that's cute. So I think I'm gonna put the mermaid over a little lower. Yeah, I just want to, I'm looking for my placement and of course the t-shirt is just, thank you, Yellow and Company. Oh gosh, I don't 
don't know why I can't remember the names of things. I'm lucky I remembered my own name most mornings. I wake up and do like the pat down like, okay, who am I today? <laughs> I got it smoothed out. Got most of the dog hair off of it. And I'm gonna put that on right there. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna melt this on. Now this is gonna be harder for you to see you all to see because um, the white frosting on the white t-shirt is not going to show, but I can see it. So I'm looking to make sure I transfer the whole thing the way it needs to be done. So the point of this is to get the glue on the film hot enough to melt and bond to the fabric at the same time that it's still not so hot and melted that you can't peel the backing off of it. This is, this is melting this one really nicely. Okay, so let's start peeling it back. Ooh, I almost forgot there was the fish up there. I wanna make sure I get that fish bonded well. I was so busy concentrating on the mermaid, I almost forgot about the fish. There we go. All right, let's peel that. That's better. I don't know how well this stuff peels off as it's cooled. Um, Whoa, something went flying. Sorry, everybody, startled me too. Um, I know it peels easier the warmer it is. So I just saw something kind of stretch out and pull off funny from here, so I don't know how that's gonna affect the design. We're about to find out, and I think we're gonna use the pink um, tie-dye on this. So I may have distorted my image a little bit over here again. First time working with this iron, working with this cut, kind of a cutout. So if you find that you're having pull problems pulling this off, just hit it with your um, heater. Sorry, looking for my scissors. Hit it, hit it with your iron to mo uh, warm up and soften the adhesive. I mean, that's the better way to go. Okay, and understand, not because of the way Cricut cutters are designed, no design will be more than one foot wide and no design can be more than two feet long. Okay, let's see. Now see this is a little bit bigger design so I can already see it grabbing onto the foil, but I gotta watch because my iron's now starting to get a little hot. You see how it wants to grab the foil? I gotta be careful. I don't wanna melt the foil onto my iron. setting down to silk. Okay. And we are bonding, so that's good. And I can see my pattern grabbing to the adhesive. That's also good. It's doing what it should. But you can see I almost melted the foil right there. Actually, what happened is the design shifted and the foil shifted. So I'm okay. And I might have to go back over that spot, but we're gonna let this, let me see if I got it all bonded. I don't see it bonded down here hard enough on the tail. So we're just gonna give it a little time, give it a little heat. 
I want to make sure everything's well and truly secured to the adhesive, because otherwise we won't have a good release. I just have to watch the temperature here so I don't ruin anything, because that would be too bad. I'd spend hours weeding this thing. Let's not ruin it. For some reason right there, it just wants to keep pulling back. So obviously I need to push the foil down. You know, this is not like, you know, a quick iron on design. You have to actually Take a little time, do a little work, figure it all out. But that's okay, because when it comes out right, the payoff is amazing. Now that's not to say that I can guarantee this one's gonna come out right, because we all know, you've all seen me make messes and make mistakes, and I'm okay with making mistakes, because I always learn from them. I learned a lot from the first time doing this. All right, so we're gonna set that one to the side. Let it cool as well. And let it cool on its own. Do not try to cool it with a hair dryer or anything else. These adhesives work better if you leave them alone and let them just do their thing. Now you can tell this was a studio shirt. This is top coat on here. <laughs> million little t-shirts like this and I just you know figured if I screwed them up then you're gonna see me wearing them in live sync so this is what you don't do to this shirt and I like the butterfly so I'm just gonna put the butterfly right in the middle all right here we go I'm watching my temperature now the wool setting melts this down very quickly but again, that's only because that works with this iron. You saw me build up that temperature carefully. Uh, can you remove a barrier? Can you put a barrier? Yeah, you can put a barrier sheet over the foil. Of course you can. You can always put something down like um, muslin or a tea towel or even a piece of uh, paper towel or parchment paper that all works just fine done that plenty of times. Get this off. Come on, come off. Come on. There we go. Oh, and the antenna don't want to transfer well because I didn't put enough heat there. So I'm going to be smart. And see if I can find my little scissors. So I didn't put enough heat up at those little curly cues that I had at the top. So what I'm doing is just pulling off those little threads that I didn't get quite anchored down correctly and trimming them off so it won't screw up my design. Okay, make sure that nothing folds back on itself. Now, as I do this more and more each time, I do learn. I'm telling you now, I learn every time I do this. Um, the reason I'm not using a transfer towel or anything like that right now, uh, Audra, is that I just stuck everything to the shirt, um, is that I want to show you that it can be done without it, A, and B, I'm, I'm using it so that I can see what I'm doing a little better since my lights are dimmed little dimmer in here than I normally do. Okay, so what I just did by flopping it around, I now actually have to reorganize my t-shirt so it lays a little flatter again and I can put the iron on it. All right, so we're gonna use Bailey's flowers on this one because I think that's gonna be so pretty. I'm taking my glasses off because I'm sweating through my glasses. Um, foils usually can handle heat on your iron up to cotton, um, but again, you need to check 
with these newer irons and stuff. If your irons, I, I've done this a million times. I watched Jennifer Ferguson do this. Our older irons don't get as hot, so you can crank the temperature up. And then I get a brand new iron, and all of a sudden the temperature you've been using before is way too high and things melt. That's how things like the melting on the bottom of my iron happened. Um, right now I'm just using this so that I can make sure every spot is uh, adhered and I can see it. And again, you want a little pressure to, that's why I like the trouser press, I don't have to push on this. And I just took my glasses off, so if anybody's asking questions and stuff and I'm not seeing them, forgive me, I can't read without my glasses and it's too hot with this iron on <laughs> to keep the glasses on because when I flip this camera up I'm going to look like a melting mess um, and I always try to go back and read questions and write out the answers so that you don't have to scroll through the video hoping you got to the right place where I answered it I know somebody said something there. Unfortunately, I don't have my glasses on. So as soon as I get away from the iron, I'll flip this up while the t-shirts and stuff cool off. Um, and you can, this is what I was trying to say is I can see the outline of the butterfly on the adhesive under with the bonded to the adhesive under my iron. And that's what I want to see. I just keep going back and forth because I can't remember how long or how low the design went. <sighs> I am roasting right now. I can't wait to turn this iron off so I can turn the air conditioner back on. See, my mother used to do this every week when I was a kid growing up and I could never figure out why she was in such bad mood. Now I know. Okay, iron off. Air conditioner on. I can move this to the side so I'm not gonna all right, I'm going to pull this back over. This is almost cool enough to remove, but I want to flip this up, read some questions. Um, oh my God. Oh, oh, sorry, the air conditioner just is kicking in now. All right. Um, all right, this is interesting. What did, what, what, did I transfer crystal? Um, I used our, here it is, our vinyl transfer adhesive. This is the adhesive that you can run through your Cricut or your Silhouette and cut any design into and then apply the adhesive with heat to your surface that then you can transfer foils on it. Um, we have spray adhesive, we have gel adhesive, we have liquid adhesives, and now we have this heat transfer vinyl, which is amazing. Now I'm gonna see if this is cool enough for me to peel off. And I think it is, because it seems to be working. All right, I'm gonna transfer this down. Let me see, scroll back for a second. Oh, you guys are so sweet, thank you. All right, so let me push this back down. So, you know, this is the one I did the paintbrush and painted studio on here. Um, and if it doesn't all release, I can go back in and grab some more, but first of all, paintbrush nearly perfect release this is really good so I'm hoping I got it as good everything else because I'd like to have one t-shirt with the company name on it that I can wear um, and not be embarrassed by myself with it because <laughs> I had done a bad job <laughs> Now I'm gentle pulling this off because I don't, the t-shirt's still a little warm and I don't want to peel the lettering back off. Once it's cool, it's adhered. Now, when you wash this, do not, for under any circumstances, put it under the, into the dryer. Why? Because the dryer reactivates the heat, uh, the, the adhesive. Okay, first of all, how cute is that? How cute is that? 
I'm, I'm kind of cracking up that the iron spot where I had the stencil down originally picked up all the dog hair that's on my shirt. But look how cute that came out. I really like that. And it came out, the gal, it's super shiny. The foil transferred really well and nice and crisp in the outlines. I'm very happy with that. Yay! Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see that. That worked. I know, I tell you all, sometimes I don't know when I'm, I can guess when I'm doing stuff. I might be doing it right and it might go well and it might be bad. Now this one I, I worry about a little bit because I had some issues. Well, the fish transferred, very cute. And those are all little bubbles, so that's right. No, it transferred really well. I was a little worried because of the way I had treated the ad adhesive vinyl. Um, but yeah, look at that. Holy guacamole. At one spot where it just, oh, I see what it was. It was just a piece of random foil stuck on there. Oh my God, look at how cute this is. Look at my little mermaid. Now that is a great transfer. That is it. Hey, Lynette, nice to see you. So I am really, really happy with how that came out. This one, I could, if, if I had a pair of pants here to go instead of the dress I was on, I'd wear this right now. All right, I do see the one spot right here, right in here. This is where I had that problem where the foil kept crinkling back on me and I just, it, there's no adhesive there either. So what I must have done is uh, pinch the t-shirt right there and that's where it didn't grab. So this is, you know, again, this is not an issue of how well the product transfers, it's an issue of what a bad ironer I am. And yeah, we all know. All right, third t-shirt release here. Okay. This one's nice and cool too. Turn on the air conditioner and amazing how things cool down. Oh, wow. Yes, and again, this is where that t-shirt folded when I had it go crazy on me. But wow, look how great that looks. Look how great that transfer is. All right, so when you're rolling back the vinyl, you know, so, when I saw Jennifer doing this, Jennifer Ferguson doing this from Artistic Painting Studio, who is the person who supplies me with this stuff, when she first did it, her t-shirts were stuck to an adhesive board, which meant that when she pulled the backing off uh, from the vinyl, the t-shirt didn't go with it, and that's what I had an issue with. I didn't have an adhesive board under here. Now you can make an adhesive board by using cardboard and lightly spraying it with spray adhesive, letting it dry, and then it becomes permanently sticky so you can put things to it and won't do any damage. I wasn't smart, I didn't do that. So take that as a learning curve that I should have had that there because that would have made that spot right there flawless. Um, if I want, I can come back in with our little bit of our um, deco gel and just brush it in or our liquid adhesive and just brush it in and clean that up, which I will probably do just to clean that spot up because I like this so much, I even I can't wait to put it on me. All right, so let's flip this up. All right, so you have seen <laughs> in top of me, the fact that you're seeing me die of heat prostration here. You have to test the temperature of your iron. I did it with you. You watched me figure out just how hot this particular iron had to be to melt the adhesive but not melt the plastic and then I needed it to be able to melt the foil but not melt the foil backing. Do not use backing like anything like a tea towel or parchment paper or anything when you're melting the adhesive vinyl, when you're melting this part. Do not put, because you need to see how well it's clearing. If you want to, you can put the tea towel or a piece of parchment paper or something over the foil. That won't hurt it. So, and remember, 
when you order from us, either the rolls of adhesive, uh, the vi rolls of vinyl, oh, geez, things are now sticking. When these, we have these on our website, they're, where they come in three foot rolls. You will get one of these little LED lights to help you with cutting. We will also be putting up one, our, our limited edition designs. And if you want us, us to cut one of those, we will. We will offer the option of weeded and unweeded. Um, I will tell you, weeding is gonna cost plenty because for things like that mermaid, it took me an hour. So if you wanna pay me to weed it, just know that that's what it's gonna cost. You're gonna pay for that part of it. Um, I suggest you weed it yourself. So we send these with weed, unweeded designs and we'll be sending these with the rolls. And of course, we'll be sending you full instructions because the rolls come like this. They don't come in a package, they don't come with instructions. So we will create and send out a full instruction sheet to go with them. All right, everybody, let me roll back. I am so excited with this new product. I'll probably be back again later today doing something else. I don't know, what time is it? Eh, it's only a little after three. Maybe I'll be back at four, who knows? All right, everybody, have a great day. Share the love, use your sprinkle button. We're coming in to you with a contest that does involve sprinkling the love next week. And the prize is gonna be a good one, so you don't wanna miss it. All right, everybody, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, thanks.